100% it's okay to submit with a partner. It's okay to submit by yourself or with you as composer or with you as lyricist working with a partner as long as that partner is also in high school. Whatever genre you want to. I mean, think about it. Musical theater is all kinds of genres of music, from Spring Awakening to Hairspray to The King and I. I mean, everything is possible in this genre. The only thing that they all have in common is that they tell a story. So make sure that your songs tell a story, but use the music to add to that storytelling, however you want. Absolutely, definitely, as long as it is your song. When I'm writing a song, I usually think about the accompaniment that best serves the genre of the material in which I'm working. Uh, Yule Vikings, for example, was a show that was entirely written on piano and then was then orchestrated uh, for production. But uh, a show that I'm working on right now, which has a lot of Indian music in it and hip hop music, is written as far away from the piano as I can get due to the fact that anytime you start playing the piano, it kills the music. So think about what kind of music you want to be working in in the first place and then try to use those instruments to generate the music. <laughs> Personally, I always write songs as part of a full musical because that's my jam and my great love. Uh, uh, definitely lots of wonderful writers out there write songs that they connect later or like under the auspices of musical theater or just simply not under the auspices of musical theater at all. So um, for the purposes of this competition, it's just most important that the song that you submit feels like it is doing storytelling work and could function in a piece of musical theater or music theater. <laughs> Definitely not. Many great songs have been written lyrics first. Many great songs have been written music first. Many great songs uh, have been written exactly at the same time in the same room. For example, my understanding is that all of the Rodgers and Hart songs from back in the day were all written music first, and all of the Rodgers and Hammerstein songs were all written lyrics first. So different processes, processes will generate different results, which will inform the work that you're doing very much. So I say try different things out and see how far it gets you. The best advice that I can give collaboration of all kinds is, number one, make sure that you're listening. Make sure that you come to the table ready to ask questions, to shoot for the same goals, and to trust your collaborator. That's paramount. Um, equally, as far as I'm concerned, it's always the best when the table is in the same room and not like virtual room like we're doing right now, which I definitely love, but you wanna be as close to your collaborator as possible. That's really where the magic happens. So when working with someone, get in the room with them, listen, talk openly, be vulnerable, and be passionate, and find, find the same things that really ground you and connect you. Definitely not. It can be a solo, duet, full cast number, whatever you like the best. You can definitely use friends to help you out. Uh, it's actually a lot easier for the end user to be able to hear the differentiation between different parts when there are multiple people singing. It also really helps because it makes your recording sound a little less children of the corn when it's not just 10 U's that are all harmonizing with each other. So if you have a big company number, uh, I'd probably encourage that to use incorporate as many people as you can. The other benefit is it allows you the chance um, as the writer to be able to step back from your own work and appreciate it more as an audience member than someone who is responsible for doing performative work on it. It's definitely based on the song as a whole. With that said, it's always better to work with a singer who's going to really enhance the song rather than distract from it, just so you can make sure that the people that are listening to it at the end really focus on what a great song you've written and also how much more elevated and greater it is once it is sung by a performer.
Those are the frequently asked questions. Good luck, have a great time, happy writing, and don't forget to submit your songs right here by January 5th. See you later. Underneath the northern sky, so much horse behind me, so there's nothing there to bind me. If you find me, you'll find that I'm free.